In this video, we'll be discussing the AI Image Editor app. This app transforms your photos by blending basic editing tools with advanced AI features for effortlessly stunning visual creations. All right, let's jump right in. Before we jump into the AI Image Editor, we should jump into our hyper-realistic AI Images app, so we can grab some images so that we can use to edit them, okay? You may have seen some of these pictures before. I have um, created them when I went over the hyper-realistic AI Images process, and we created these images together. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this last image I created. Um, kind of looks like me, my stomach <laughs> on the beach. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, download the image. But if you look at these tools, if you click on edit, it'll actually take you to the AI image editor um, application directly with this image. But what we're going to do is um, I'm going to assume that you are getting an image that you have already that you didn't use the um, hyper realistic AI images app to create. And you just want to edit the image similar to like when you go to an app like Canva or one of those tools where you have a have an outside image that you want to edit. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and download the image and then I'm going to jump over to our um, AI images app. Okay. There it is right there. Let's just go ahead and uh, jump into that. I'm inside of the AI image editor app. What you need to do is you can either drag and drop any photos that you have. You can drop up to five images at one time, or um, you could, you could you can either drag it in this um, box here, or you can click it upload so you can browse to the image as well. I'm going to just look at some more recent images here and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, drag it if I can. There we go. All right, so I'm going to drag it here and then you select upload images. And in a few seconds, the image will be uploaded. And now once you click on the image, we will open a prompt where we can go and have different options. So we have options to copy the image, edit the image, or download the image, or we can trash the image from here. But obviously we want to edit the image. So let's click on edit and it'll open up uh, a, a new dialogue. So we have some options on the side. So on, on the left, you have option to crop the image, resize, do some AI touches, um, annotate, add some stickers, filters. We can fine tune and add framing on the image. Okay, so let's start by cropping. So cropping, you have the options on top is you can crop left, you can flip um, horizontal, you can crop the shape or the boundaries. And on the bottom, you have the option to rotate and scale. So on the bottom, if you want to rotate, we can use this to rotate the image if you like, right? And we can scale the image uh, by zooming in and zooming in and zooming out if you want. Okay. On the top, we can, you know, rotate it left. Okay. Or we can flip horizontal if you want them to be on opposite sides. You can uh, crop the shape if you want it to be square or if you wanted to um, do like a 16 by 9 or if you want to do portrait or if you want to have any um, any uh, customized shape specific to any social media platform. So X is here, Instagram, Facebook. So if you want to do a cover, if you want to do like a portrait or a, a tall post, so you have those different options that are already pre-built into this. So you just click on any one of these and it'll um, automatically um, change that for you. Okay. You can crop the, the boundaries if you want, you can crop the edges. So if you wanted to make it smaller, bigger, you can crop it as well. Okay. Um, let's go to the resizing. Once you resize, if you want, if you know the exact pixel size you, you wanted on the bottom, you can choose a pixel width and length, and you can add it here. So if you want it to be square, you can do 1080 by 1080, or, um, um, you can just, uh, change the dimensions that way as well. Uh, the, the beauty of this is the AI retouching. With the AI retouching, we have a few options on the bottom. You can replace the background. You can change it from a beach to anything you want. You could uh, do a magic remove. So if you see, see something in the image that you don't like, and you want to remove it, you can. And you can do a magic insert. Let's start with the magic insert since we're on here already. So if we wanted to add, let's say, um, let's say add a snake. All right. So the AI is going to generate a snake and put a snake here. All right. So this is a snake. It looks like a, the letter O, but it's a snake. If we click on the, uh, the generate more, it will regenerate the image. So if it wants to look a little bit better, you know, AI is not perfect. It doesn't get it right. Always the first time. Okay. So this looks a little bit more like a snake coming out of like a sad snake, a snake that's, that lives in a sack. It's almost camouflaged like the sack. So this would be a good one. So let's go to magic remove. We can say, if you wanted to remove this plant here, you could just highlight it and the AI will remove it. Uh, that's good. So the AI is going to remove the plant. We'll still see some here so we can get to start over and try it again. Let's see if the AI gets it right this time. Perfect. So that's, that's a lot better. So the AI removed it. So if you want to do some more touches, you can just highlight over here, remove that and uh, we can highlight there and remove that one as well and remove everything. So it's pretty cool. So it looks like nothing was ever there in the first place, right? Um, let's go to the magic background and replace. So let's say, for example, we wanted to say, um, a cruise ship, cruise ship, ship on the water. Let's see what it says. Okay. 
So she'll replace the background and she'll she put a cruise ship. All right, so change the image and it put the cruise ship there. You can notice how some of our changes uh, that we added is here. What we could do, since the background has changed, we could just delete this and delete this. And it's, oh, and some of our changes we could delete and you will see everything here. So it added, it transported them off of the beach and put them in front of, in front of a cruise ship. It looked more like a yacht than a cruise ship, but hey, that's great, okay? So you can just use your imagination and then you can change the background and to wherever you want. You can put them in Paris if you want, in front of the Eiffel Tower if you want. You can put them in front of the Statue of Liberty in, in New York, whatever you want, whatever your imagination takes you, okay? Um, as far as annotations, you have these different options on the back. You can add text, you can add rectangles, arrows. So if you wanted to add an arrow, double it to the cruise ship, and we can make the arrows the different sizes. You say you want an extra large arrow, we change the color if you want. Let's make it, I don't know, fuchsia, <laughs> all right? Um, if you could add the eraser here as well. So if you have certain things you want to erase. So if we wanted to erase this, we can. If we wanted to actually draw here, let's we can change the colors to any color we want. And we could change, obviously, any color we want. So if it's black, but we don't want it. We want it a little bit like grayish. We can do that and add the colors here. Um, so it has all the different different annotation tools that you can use here. Okay. As far as stickers, we can add different emojis, like a thumbs up. But if you wanted to add like your logo, you can click select image add your logo uh let's do that here uh let's go to here we go logos and let me just add a add a logo here okay we want to add a logo you can add it here uh put it over his face whatever whatever you want to do <laughs> all right so we can do things like that as far as filters it has all the basic filters like the uh like chrome fade if you wanted to go to like like different black and black and mono, monochrome filters we can do that as far as fine tuning you can fine tune the brightness saturation temperature uh, clarity you can play with these settings so if you want to fine tune images a little bit you can okay um like uh as far as framing you can add like a polaroid frame if you like or you can add all these different like a line frame zebra frame lumber frame you can add these different frames to your pictures okay so it has so this ai tool has all of the image editing features that you are looking for in an, in an app similar to canva but it's all in one house I hope you found some value with this. You can definitely use this AI image editor to transform your photos and have all the basic advanced, all the basic and advanced AI features that can effortlessly um, help you with creating your visuals for your images. Hope you find value here. Until next time, peace.